But first, only on seven, a barrel bang up. An industrial barrel slammed into a man's car while he was driving on a busy freeway this morning. It happened on the eastbound lanes of I-94 between Connor and Harper. Seven Action News reporter Jen Shans is live and Jen, that barrel did some damage. Yeah, it certainly did, Carolyn. Take a look at this. The windshield so badly smashed. There's actually shards of glass on the inside of this man's car, and you can see a pretty seriously dented hood here. But what he wants to know tonight, the driver wants to know, where did this barrel come from? It was just another drive home Thursday morning for Mike Veraloni until... Just like in a flash, a 55-gallon blue drum smashed into my windshield and my front of my car. He was traveling east on I-94 around 620 when it happened. He says he was between Connor and Harper. A blue industrial barrel, just like this one, he says, flew over the westbound lanes and landed smack in the middle of his windshield. It was probably 20 feet in the air. It came from the other side of the freeway, so I don't know where it came from. I, I would assume it fell off a truck. That's the mystery. We reached out to MDOT, which says there were no reports of any crashes or disabled vehicles in the area during that time, nor did any MDOT cameras capture what happened. Veroloni's filing a report with Michigan State Police in hopes of getting to the bottom of this. Just a big boom and then it was gone. Now, though, he's dealing with the aftermath of this phantom barrel. I've got the windshield and uh, the radiators damaged. I don't really know the extent of it. I don't want to pop the hood because I won't be able to get it closed. And getting his car fixed, he says, won't be an easy task. The insurance company wants to say it's comprehensive insurance. It wasn't under the collision because it fell from the sky, apparently. Now, we just found out moments ago that Veraloni found a blue barrel, similar, identical, he thinks, to the one that struck him early this morning. He found it on his way into work tonight, just moments ago. But he said there's no markings or numbers on it to indicate where it came from. So still, where this barrel came from is unclear. We're going to keep following this and keep you posted as we learn more. Live in Clinton Township tonight, Jen Shantz, 7 Action News. All right.